Search Engine Optimization for Local Businesses in 2024. I'm creating an updated tutorials for local business SEO in 2024 because Google has made major changes recently. And most rank your followers are actually small business owners wanting to improve their online results. So let's go and see what we can do. Google Business Profile, formerly Google My Business, now has new features in 2024. So that will depend on the type of local business you're operating. But nonetheless, what you want is you want to go in and update your Google Business Profile by providing as much information as possible that is related to your local business. Also, with all the latest changes, what we need to understand is no one search engine optimization factor is more important than the other. What does that mean? That means the way Google works is that it looks at your local business, its online footprint, your local business website, and it combines all that it has to show knowledge graph for local business. Okay. So then, as suggested by Google, it's saying to us to upload photos to Google Business Profile about our business. Now, when we do that, then before we upload our photo, let's say you've taken an image of your local business exterior view, for example. Then, name your images correctly before you upload to Google servers. Even if at that moment Google changes the file name, that's irrelevant. What's relevant is our understanding. For example, Google can understand, obey as well, the image metadata. Furthermore, if you're uploading images to your website as well, Focus on originality. Why? Because the latest changes, we can see how they define what is of highest quality. For Google in 2024, originality and creating helpful, reliable people first content is a must to have. That means when you target certain keywords on your website, that's great. But now you can extend your local business. Let's imagine you're a plumber in Melbourne, Australia. Let's say that was the local business. Then let's go and see what we can do. Let's just ask this question. How plumber in Melbourne? Looking at this, people also search feature. We can then say, okay, can we use that information to create helpful, reliable, people first content? Because if people are searching for it and you're creating content answering that, obviously that's a definition of creating helpful people first content so now as i've said question oriented words as in as i've said in previous videos question oriented words are very important but they are more important in 2024 whereby you can create content accordingly but when you create content you know, invest your time perhaps a bit of uh, money as well to create original content that Google has not seen before. Do not make a mistake by listening to so-called experts 
telling you to use AI tools to generate content. Don't do that. Because your local business is important to you. And Google guidelines and ranking factors focus on originality. You can use tools such as Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop to make sure that your website has original content. Because that's going to perform much better than if you weren't using it. Let's search this image using right click, search image with Google. We can see now this latest feature searches the image, it understands what's on the image, and it tells us that particular image can only be found here and nowhere else. That's an original image. So that's what you want especially for the content you'll be creating in the future okay so let's fly through it make sure you complete your profile taking advantage of the latest features for google business profile because they work with google maps they work for your website rankings as well for google and your local business your online footprint is all combined Full search engine optimization of the website, surely that's important because then you can provide additional information about your business. You know, you probably have uh, web pages targeting different suburbs, different services perhaps, and so on. So then you want to make sure they are within Google guidelines, as in search engine optimization guidelines. Rank Your Website has created a brand new freely available course. Perhaps you want to refresh your memory in terms of how to optimize websites. Let's focus on structured data because this will become more important as days go by. Google supports various types of structured data. When you want to add structured data, do not treat structured data by itself, as in do not treat structured data types by themselves, but rather understand that you can combine different data types to work in harmony. What does that mean? That means you can add local business markup using the sample examples here, or you can perhaps check out schema.org some things are required in terms of required fields but you can do so much more for example when you use breadcrumbs structured data then that actually will help everything else that you're doing also let's imagine site name site links snippets let's take a look at them as suggested by Google, provide a site name to Google search. Site links, they also become important. They work with breadcrumbs, breadcrumb list. Control your snippets, but you don't want to do that. You want to do everything properly and let Google automatically work everything else out. For local features, we've got business details. As we can see, to improve your Google business profile results, Google tells you how to you know, do things here. It's telling you to use Search Console. While here, let's look at a Search Console. Okay, <laughs> I know this is a silly example because this meant to be 100% good URLs, right? But recently, I've added some ads on Rank Your Website, and that's really stuffed things up. Here, depending on your resources, what you want is you want to make sure you have zero poor URLs. URLs need improvement, surely can be improved, depending on your resources. But if anything, if there is zero 
uh, if there is let's say 10 poor URLs that means that's affecting your website ranking results okay so with structured data all I can tell you is if you're already using local business markup understand that you can do much more you can add different ones according to your local business connect everything what does that mean that means it's more than likely that you have links to your social media profiles when you add structured data on a website that's optimized then on the links itself let's imagine this was your social media profile let's say your youtube channel let's imagine that was the link to your youtube channel then you can add title let's say youtube youtube channel for abc business but on the link we can use item prop same as item prop equals double quote same as close a double quote when we're linking to our social media profiles when we say same as what will happen is google will create associations between your local business and your social media profiles yeah reviews are absolutely important for any type of business including for local businesses google recommends using the tools available in your local business profile let's imagine here ask for reviews let's press on that link here it's saying to you know share the review link with your customers and so on right perhaps you knew that but you can do much more meaning it's not just matter of sharing the link although that's great ask yourself if you have a physical store can you you know perhaps on the customer service desk have a sign saying you know what leave us a review leave because if they've gotten a service from you that's the perfect time to ask for a review meaning make it easy for your customers and clients to leave that review you send in a link sure that's great Perhaps you may send a link with your invoice or follow up email and so on. That's great. But after a service, they're still fresh because they can now provide a review because you've provided a great service. Also, if the review is negative, don't shy away from it. Reply to that review as well. Meaning whether you get five star review, three star review, one star review. You want to be proactive on Google business profiles and reply to those reviews and interact with your customer base because that helps everything else related to your business. And be creative. As I've said, you know, depending on the type of local business you have, what if you had an iPad that was ready on the review link with a sign and your customer support team asking that customer to quickly place a review one way or another reviews are important because reputation of a website or a business is important for google rankings also remember this if you've fallen victim to <laughs> local seo services spamming the internet with google map citations then that's against google guidelines most of them are what you want is if you have created profiles which are okay to do let's imagine yelp which is a popular platform right or facebook business page or true local australia or better business bureau it doesn't matter which one if you hired someone else it's more than likely that they haven't done the due diligence 
by creating professional content on those profiles. Ideally, you want to make each profile that you've promoted your business at as unique as possible. And also, understand that if you're not going to invest time, energy, effort, taking advantage of these business directories, then perhaps you shouldn't use them. Will they help? Mm, to a degree, they may. If people are using them, surely it will help. But if they're not using them, because there are thousands of them created just for backlink spam, well, then you want to avoid things like that, okay? Basically, you can create profiles anywhere on the internet as long as it's based on quality and it follows best practices for content. Okay, include directions and Google Maps on your website. That's the new 2024 um, insight that Google is sharing with us. What that means is, see, a lot of people make this honest mistake because either they don't understand or they are misinformed. Having Google Maps on a website surely may be helpful, but sometimes local business owners place that map on the footer section on each web page. That may work in some cases, but you need to then test because adding additional scripts burdens the page load times, which is important for page experience. So then you ask yourself, okay, if you have Google Maps, which is great, it may be helpful. Perhaps you want to have it just on your contact page. But if you say, no, 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 having the Google Maps in the footer section is helpful then sure, leave it there. You can add directions to your local business on your website as well. Perhaps you have identified that people are coming from, let's say, from Ballarat to Melbourne, as an example, from a particular location, perhaps even Flinders Street train station, if you had a business in the CBD, then you can provide directions. Okay, when you get off at Flinders, here's the path you take to my business. Because all this helps the visitor to better interact with your website and your local business. Finally, don't wait for Google to drive traffic. Because that's like, a child having a lemonade stand. Surely, search engine optimization is important because it will help you to pr provide better user experience on your website. It will also help you to drive additional traffic, targeting more keywords because you're focusing on original content in the best interest of your customers. But then you can be proactive, and I'm sure that you are, you can use local ads, you can use online ads, you can use Google ads, Facebook business page ads, because the power of online advertising is extremely powerful. Because not only you can advertise at affordable rates, you can precisely target ads to show to your audience who may be interested in your services, or your products. One way or another, continue putting out great content and simply make sure that your website is user friendly, it's mobile ready, and it's taking advantage of these latest changes Google has made. Then I promise you, your website results will skyrocket. I thank you for learning with Rankia, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.